So I must have been 12 or 13 years old when I encountered a Princeton book in the first uh, English uh, translation. Uh, it was in the library of my father, who was a psychiatrist in Valencia, Venezuela, where I grew up. Uh, the book was a present from Jose Solanes, who was another psychiatrist, friends of his, from Catalonia. Uh, the book, I believe, was directly coming from the uh, Princeton collection, it, since you have the ex libris uh, in the first page. And, you know, the first, the main influence for me, of course, was the images, because I was also not able to, to understand English at the time. I started working as an artist, making uh, uh, obsessively drawing, you know, uh, with pastel and, you know, uh, and this, of course, was a source of inspiration. I mean, I, I, I encountered for the first time, for instance, the work of Heinrich Anton Müller here, or the, the work of uh, Johann Knopf and, you know, a Carl Gensel. And of all three, I'd seen already the Morgenthaler book also. There was the two books, actually, I took uh, a store from the library of my father and took them to my bedroom. So I have them actually uh, next to my bed, to, and I, I will go to sleep every night looking at the images. So, I mean, I was fascinated by these private sort of universes that were like actually connecting with all those things I, of course, loved at the time, as it was the avant-garde, you know, Paul Klee and, you know, all the Maxin, Surrealism, and, and, and also so-called primitive art. So, I mean, in a way, I was also able to understand a bit of principal ideas through the conversation I was listening to my father and, and his colleagues. So, I mean, it was really a, a big influence uh, in my work that, you know, I could actually not convey in here. Much later, I, of course, got the, the first edition of Pinson, and I got to work also with uh, Cargan's piece, and in a in a piece uh, I did in collaboration with Pinson Salum uh, about Entertete Kunst, the famous exhibition Entertete Kunst, and the role that the Pinson collection had in it. But that's another story. Uh, I think the Pinson book is quite unique uh, contribution to the understanding not only of art of the mental ill, but of, of art in general.